Hey guys, it's Radical here with How to Redstone, and today we are going to be making an apple farm. Now, Oliver Black, one of my viewers, has been requesting this tutorial for a long time, so I am going to get to it. Now, this is my apple farm. It is also a tree farm and a sapling farm. So, I'll show you how this thing works right after I finish cutting down these logs. Okay, now that I am done with all this wood chopping, you can see that I have got a lot of resources from it. And you can already see stuff dropping. So what I need to do now is get into game mode one first. And then hit this button right there. And all the stuff will come crashing down here. A few things blocking the way. Get that real quick. quick and now it should be working just fine what you have to do is you need to make sure stuff isn't blocking the way or blocking these because if you block these if like if leaves are in front of this or something then it won't work but other than that it is very efficient as you can see I have pretty much four stacks of logs just with one run and you have three apples so far and yeah so that is the farm and I will be showing you how to make it right now. Now you can make this farm as big as you like, but for this I'm just going to make a small scale. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a chest right here on a 13 by 12 area and then put some stairs right in front of it, just like that. Actually I'm going to bring this chest up a little bit. And then I am going to get some iron blocks and put them all the way around the edge. Now after you have finished that, you want to put a hopper right here and right here, and then you'd probably want to get some glass or something to, I mean, I like to put glass here, you don't have to, but I like, I, I don't know, it's cool decoration, I like to see. Then you want to put stairs here, and then you can put an extra stair right there if you want. And then you need to go around once more with, block, with blocks of your choice. So after you have finished that, what you want to do is you want to make the ground. Now the ground is one block away from the bottom. So let me do that real quick and I'll get right back with you again. Now after you have finished with this pattern, what you need to do is you need to cover this part of the ground with blocks so that the water can get to the hopper. And then after you have finished that, you want to put some light down so that oops, so that the trees can grow. So, uh, so I like to put them right here. Oh man, that doesn't work. Then you have a block under it right there and then at the other end. Just like that. So let me finish that real quick and I'll come right back. Now after you have finished this part, what you want to do is you want to put another layer of um, an, uh, the block of your choice down around the edge so that the water doesn't fall over the edge. And after you have finished that, you want to put a button right here. And you want to put redstone going through there and then a repeater and then redstone going all the way through back again and then another repeater and then block right here and then you want to have some dispensers handy and put them all the way along here Ugh, there we go and then put block it blocks of iron right there and actually you want to put the repeater right here and then you want to put redstone 
going over the dispensers. You have to hold shift when you're clicking on the dispensers, otherwise you will open the dispenser. After you have finished that part, you need to get some water, and you need to fill these dispensers up, every single one of them, or this thing will not work. So this, this farm does require a lot of dispensers, but good thing dispensers aren't very expensive. It's just, I think it's just um, some redstone, a bow, and a bow? Yeah, I think it's a bow, and then some cobble. And then after you're done with this part right here, what? Uh, you're done. Yeah, I think you're done. That is all that you have to do. Oh, wait, no, no. You need to put in some water. Ha! <laughs> Forgot about that part. All right, you need to put water right there, water right there, and kaboom. All done. See, it works just fine. And that is how you make an apple farm. Oh, wait, no. You need, here's one more step, guys. Sorry about that. A very important step. Now, for this is a very important step because if you don't do this step, you'll get humongous trees that grow, and those are really, really annoying. So you need to go up eight blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then you need to make it the the length of these things. So let me do that real quick, and I'll come right back. And there you have it. That is your very own personal apple farm. This is probably the best way that I could think of making an apple farm, and it works pretty good. Um, well, kind of good. I got three apples from this one. It's very good for saplings, of course, and wood. But yeah, that is my apple farm. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of How to Redstone. If you have any other ideas of tutorials that you would like to see, please put them in the comments below. If you enjoyed this episode, please leave a like, and if you loved it, please subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.